Well, thanks for staying around. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see. So tree taps, I think we have to make and then go and find some, some rubber trees to get some rubber. Uh, we need 26 sticky resin and then we need a lot of iron. Um, well, well, let's into that. I think let's make the tree tap. Uh, and then maybe we can check, um, did I have iron ore berries growing? Or was it copper and tin? I think that might've been copper and tin. I don't know, we'll see where we're situated in iron. I'm, gonna, I'm not sure if we have enough iron uh, on hand to um, to make all those rods, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so tree taps. Okay, we need, we need to make a few things. So let's start with the wood screw. So the wood screw, you need a file and two short wood sticks. Short wood sticks are made with a stick and a saw. Uh, okay, so we, we only need to make one screw. Wait, 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 wait. I have a bunch of glass right here. I have a bunch of, I must've gotten this as a quest reward. I have a bunch of glass right here. <laughs> I forgot. Anyway, that's not what we're doing right now. Uh, we are making, wooden screw hmm okay it'd be funny if I had it like a pile of screws here too and that's honestly like as we go forward I want to need to do that more and more it's just like bulk craft a bunch of things uh, I'm just not really set up to do that yet I need to really build like a base uh, but we're I, I'm, I'm delaying <laughs> doing that Okay, so we need different kinds of wood pipes. We need a large one. And then we need, uh, I think, two medium ones. There we go. We need to make two at a time anyway. And then uh, a small one, which apparently we make six at a time. That's actually pretty affordable to make. Uh, okay, so tree tap? Yes. Now that's not actually 16 tree, tree taps. That's like the durability, I think. Like you can't, you can't divide that. It's not like a stack. Uh, what's something else that's kind of similar? Oh yeah, the um, the wooden form here. This really confused me when I made this because it looks like there's 226 items here, but that's not a. It's it's a different. <laughs> it's not a big number in the corner. Or it's kind of off by its own. It is one item. It just has a certain amount of durability like that. Kind of weird not a percentage based durability uh okay so anyway so we got the tree tap um we need to go find some rubber trees um and we need to check on our iron situation because we need 52 iron rods each iron rod right now uh, is a single iron ingot along with a file we're probably gonna have to make some new files at some point but yeah, so one for one. So we need 52 iron ingots and we have um, none, none iron ingots. I think none, unless we have some iron in here. We have 10 iron ingots that can be extracted. Nine iron, iron ingots that can be extracted. So what do we have in terms of iron that we can smelt? Uh, quite a lot, actually, maybe. Lots of iron-bearing ores that I mined up. Um, there we go. So, like, this banded iron ore here. So, like, if I hit U on this, you can just put it in the furnace. And if you do that, then you get one iron ingot. If we put it in the smeltery, uh, 144 millibuckets, I think, is also... An ingot? Let's let's check that out. So if we want to cast an ingot, is that 144 millibuckets? It is. Okay. So um, I think in the future there are going to be ways for us to have uh, more efficient utilization uh, of the iron. But uh, not today. Today we're gonna take this, we're gonna dump this in here. This is at least more efficient than putting it in the furnace 
because it's a more efficient use of, um, like we're using some lava, but it's heating all of them with the same amount of lava versus having to smelt them in a furnace and use a bunch of coal or, or whatnot. Let's also make sure to sleep. Don't want a bunch of uh, very aggressive, very uh, hard hitting mobs to spawn because this pack does have infernal mobs. Uh, it has some normal, like it will spawn normal mobs and we've seen a lot of those, but um, I think, I'm not exactly sure what uh, all the spawning conditions are, but there are definitely, <laughs> we, we've seen, I think we've seen some on stream too, some, a couple of infernal mobs. All right, so, how much iron is that? 45, okay, makes sense. So unfortunately I don't have a way to automate pouring the, uh, the iron, so we just have to click that every once in a while. Uh, did our tree regrow? The answer is no, not yet. So I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna just have to look around for uh, rubber trees, like that one right there. And, um, we need 26 sticky resins, so we may have to look for a while. But we can't do both things, so I guess we're gonna go off in search of uh, that. So, okay, but since I'm walking this way anyway, our science experiment with the, uh, with the weeds so not only do they spread to destroy adjacent crops, but they will also destroy farmland and replace them with dirt, which pr presumably the grass then naturally spread to. Um, I guess the question is, will the weeds spread diagonally? Like, will it destroy this and then spread this way? That's what I wanna know to kind of understand the kind of the uh, how the weeds in, uh, in this pack behave. And in the meantime, let's go get some sticky resin. For uh, rubber production. But not from this tree, apparently. you see that it went down so I right clicked it just to see if it would do anything and it did do something it consumed one of the durability but it didn't give me any yeah, so I won't be making that mistake in the future uh, so we're looking for rubber trees that have the little uh, sap spot on them Uh, and I think what I'll do is I will, uh, once we find them, I'll harvest it using the tree tap and then I'll cut them down uh, to hopefully get some more saplings to bring back so we can have some locally sourced uh, rubber trees rather than running around uh, trying to go back to them. Like there, looks like there's some hostile mobs in this hill, maybe down below me. Let's uh, not deal with that. So again, we're looking for trees that have like two leaves. I think that might be a rubber tree up there. Two leaves on top. So uh, that's an infernal mob. Let's, let's not hang around here. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the particle effect there, but uh, it's a, a mob with all sorts of special effects and uh, probably extra health and, and all that stuff. Now, if I was thinking about it with the other tree, what I would have done is I would have went and uh, uh, chopped it down. Now, is there, is there a sap spot on the side of this? I don't know if those can spawn when there are leaves next to them, but uh, I don't know that that's not possible. Let's see. 
Looks like no. Maybe on the top one? What's that? No. Okay. Ooh, I did get I did get one sticky resin just from cutting it down and uh, a rubber tree sapling. So progress. Just 25 more to go. Um two saplings, great. More rubber trees for our rubber plantation. I do want to just keep looking for more though, because otherwise we're going to be uh, stuck waiting for those trees to grow. And that is, we might have some bone meal actually, or did I use it all? We had some bone meal at one point. Hey Jake, is that a, is a, that a high I'm here wave or is that a, a buy I'm taking off wave? <laughs> Oh, sticky situation. Did I actually pick it up? I got it. All right, cool. Uh, 24 more of those to go. Oh, okay, so it can spawn underneath. Yes, you're here. Welcome. All are welcome. Uh, you've been lurking making your bed? Making your bed? I rarely do that. Uh, and I'm doing other chores, but now you're, you're here, here. Well, here, here. Thanks for <laughs> for lurking and and also thanks for being here. All right, so 21 more to go. In the meantime, we got more saplings, which are good. Did we leave some behind? Maybe. Uh, these are rubber tree leaves, so let's break these. Um. Yeah. All right, so on we go. On our quest for more rub, this is the wrong direction. This way. Not ready to head back to the base yet. Maybe by the time we get back, uh, the rubber tree we had uh, replanted will have grown. That's not impossible. Now granted, the same could be said for the uh, the trees that we chopped down, that maybe their uh, sticky, uh, their sap spots could have uh, repopulated. But I'd much rather have the saplings to bring them back closer. Um, where the, uh, the our little starter base is, is in the spawn chunk. So it's always loaded as long as we're in this dimension. Um, again, I'm looking for trees that have two leaves on top. Just probably not noticing them. Um, that tree doesn't count. It's got to be two, you know, two leaf blocks by themselves, one on top of the other, like over there. here. Ooh, can we get more than one from uh, a sap spot? Okay. So other things we've learned, we did learn that you can find sap spots inside of uh, behind the leaves. Uh, and that you can potentially get sticky resin from cutting down the, the rubber uh, wood blocks. So we got nine. We need uh, 17 more. I guess there could have been a, uh... 
Okay. Nope. Sap spot. Facing uh, the leaves over on that side. I mm, think I'm going to leave this area. Ooh. Piece of candy. Let's get away from that spider and then we'll uh, pass the night in our comfy little sleeping bag. Once it is actually night at uh, 6.32 p.m. as it always is. Yeah, ooh, he's king. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I've watched any Family Guy. I, uh, I don't really watch TV anymore, so... It's pretty much all Twitch and YouTube these days. Alright, we're gonna find something else to eat. What are we eating right now? In our lunch bag? Just baked potato and strawberry. We ran out of tea. That's terrible. Same, haven't seen Family Guy in years? Yep. So we have this uh, pan of doom we got as a reward. Nice. Mmm. Beef tartar. Let's imagine. <laughs> uh, same as Switch on the computer and YouTube on the iPad and don't even have TV anymore. Uh, well, I have a big TV, but... Um, and I have Xfinity for internet. Although I have been looking at fiber recently. It seems that that's available now. Uh, and might enable me to stream to multiple places at once. But, uh, but yeah, no, no cable TV. All right, let's break one of these Pam's uh, Harvest Craft Gardens. Well, the pumpkin's not too, too helpful, but we can eat a cantaloupe or two. There we go. And I'll give us a little bit of variety so we can go back to eating the stuff in our lunch bag. Okay. A little bit anyway. All right, let's go plant uh, the rubber tree saplings. Maybe we'll find some rubber trees over on this side. So that right there is a thing that can spawn hostile stuff. So let's stay away from that. Stuff we're not equipped to fight. Even with the pan of doom. <laughs> So I am, I'm seriously thinking about um, using that big tree and we'll put our machinery inside of it. I mean, it's kind of weird, right? We're gonna set up like a, a steam age, like steampunk um, factory thing inside of a tree. A little bit of a fire hazard maybe, but it, it'll be fine. Um, and it'll be away from our crops. You know, we don't want pollution getting in our crops. Also click the thing. Um, yeah, this is still not grown, it's unfortunate. Uh, oh yeah, fiber is the way to go. <laughs> yeah, I just saw that. Yeah, it would be good. Uh, let's put these trees down, make a little, little space for growth. There we go. My uh, jungle tree saplings I put down here still have not grown, unfortunately. This is a good biome, right? Temperate river, should be fine. 60% humidity. The other ones that I planted right here, same biome, grew multiple times. Yeah. All right. Okay. So the other thing you can see here is the uh, the weeds definitely encourage grass, like the grass. Um, it encourages grass to go on, grow on grass. Yeah. But again, I want to see if it spreads more. Uh, I guess the other thing we can do while we're here is we can uh, see if we can get some more unknown seeds. All right, looks good. Is 
Just doing some uh, crossbreeding over here of crops. And we got a couple of bags of onion seeds. What could they be? We don't know. <laughs> it's a mystery for now. Uh, at some point, some of these rubber trees, rubber trees are gonna grow. Uh, but we do need, uh, what was the total amount we need? 26, so we just need another 13. We're halfway there. And Elect Electivira appears in chat. Um, so in the, in the same vein of like eventually, uh, probably real soon, uh, starting to build our, our factory over there. Um, clearing the land a bit and putting down a path. And that's something I've seen, I think I mentioned a couple times on stream, but I have seen um, several pieces of, of advice out on the internet about this pack that what you want to do is, is you want to ignore the impulse to just like rush through progression because it's going to take a very long time to progress through the pack and instead make sure you're spending time to uh, address quality of life things make it easier to move around like get getting a horse and stuff uh, and if I was needing to like if I was going to a specific place right now uh, it would make sense for me to get on the horse. But right now, I'm just kind of wandering around looking for um, rubber trees because I didn't <laughs> waypoint them when I was uh, looking around before. Good oh boy. He's a fast one. Can we, can we hurt him? Ow. Poison. A poisonous zombie. Uh, right, so looking for two leaves on top. Hmm. Oh yeah, so there's the tree that we grew. <laughs> So some of you actually uh, looked, looked back at it from a, a bit of a distance. It's, it's, it's a big one, huh? Grew that from some saplings. I think by the time I was done talking about how, uh, <laughs> how I wanted to move away from it, and I looked back and then it had grown. All right, so rubber trees though. Is there a rubber tree over here? Oh yeah, so I don't know if you can see this well on stream, but you might have seen it uh, in other places as I've been walking past. It's not a glitch. This is a uh, an aura node from Thomcraft. So we'll be able to get magical energies uh, from them once we actually have unlocked that. So there is magic in this pack along with technology. Also witches. Friendly-ish witches. I don't interest her, apparently. Let's try not to look at the, uh, the Enderman. I'm not seeing any rubber trees over here. Have I? <laughs> Let me know if you see it. Looking for a tree that has two leaf blocks on top by themselves. I'd show an example. So this is like not a place to hang out. Um, if I could just find one. So there are random fruit trees also. So here's a pomegranate that's uh, in a persimmon. Mm. And we can make fruit tree saplings from the fruits and the right kind of uh, tree sapling and plant them down. At some point we'll have, uh, we'll have to put together an orchard. This might just be the wrong biome. What, what is this biome? It is shield, whatever that is. <laughs> 
some kind of biome that doesn't have rubber trees. So you can imagine if I had this kind of cleared out and had a, like, a leveled path, uh, make it a little bit easier to take like a horse through to go between like a farming area and uh, an industrial base. Again, it's kind of weird to imagine doing an uh, industrial base instead of a tree, but that's kind of ironic. Might be good. And yeah, we got a tree grown. Uh, these we will not chop down again. We should expect... I might move the sapling a little further, though. Maybe over there. Um, there we go. I think technically he doesn't even need, even need the leaves. I might break some of the leaves away so that we can see what's going on here. Oh, and in which case we might also get some additional saplings. So I see a spot there. There we go. Uh, and it is night, so let's sleep. For stuff spawns and rushes me. All right, let's use the sapling, saplings. Let's also move the sapling away a little bit further. I want to make sure they all have enough space to uh, to grow as soon as they can. I'm pretty sure though that I could, I think that I could knock away all the leaves and it would still spawn. Um, the uh, sap spots or, or what have you. So we got 17. A few more, 12 more to go. All right. Well, I guess we're kind of waiting. Some things I could do here. Put some stuff away. We didn't have any of those in there. All right, good, okay. Um, let's grab something different. Let's take those grapes and we'll put them in our uh, in our lunch bag since we have an empty slot. And then let's eat hmm, maybe those blackberries. You can see as we get tired of eating a food item, uh, the animation gets slower and slower. Let's see, we can have a cherry. Oops, I tabbed out of the game. There we go. And there's a pomegranate that we, uh... I have been going around and collecting fruits and stuff as, a, as I've been adventuring around, exploring and all that. Um, although at some point I did stop and was like, okay, well, I, I don't have the inventory space to keep everything. Uh, so I did start putting down waypoints and some things uh, that we'll have to go back for later once we do get our proper growing of all the, the Pam's Harvest Craft stuff uh, going. But what are we doing? <laughs> all right, we're working through this because we need to get the water tank siding, right? The water tank siding, each one needs a sticky resin, right? So we're not even making rubber now. We're just directly using the sticky resin to make the water tank exciting. Um, right, so I guess while we're waiting for the trees to grow, this is a good time to uh, extract all that iron that we smelted. Uh, because I needed 52 iron. So there's seven in there. And there's 47. Okay, so I'll have enough. Since it's a one to one. Actually, can I make, here's a thought, can I make a raw to cast? A tool raw, a tough rod, tool rod, what kind of rod is it? It's an iron rod. I think it may not be castable. 
Yeah, I think this is something if we want to like not handcraft, we need like a lathe or something else that has, that uses electricity. There is an extruder, which is kind of the electric version of this thing that we're doing right now, where you have an extruder shape and you can extrude metal through. And then, yeah, you get two for one. But uh, I think otherwise we're stuck. <laughs> Unless we had a buzzsaw. Or wait. Oh, no, no, no. That's if we had a long iron rod. How do you make a long iron rod? Oh, you, you hammer two iron rods together. Okay, great. Not helpful. You know what would make this faster? If I had multiple casting tables. Right, if I had multiple casting tables, I could pour two at the same time. I would need another hopper, which is not a trivial thing, but I could at least click it out. So let's, let's do this. Um, I do have another casting table. All oh, right, I would need another cast though. That, that is the downside. Okay, well, that is um, going to hold up my ability to pour. I think this will be faster just to pour them out because... I don't know. Let me think about this. I think we just need... Um, what do we need? We need some aluminum. Which we have aluminum, fortunately. And we need... A little bit of copper, right? To oh, we well, let's put that in there. We need to make aluminum brass to make the uh, the cast. But if we do that, let me get the other casting table that we had made. the The third one is the one that we stole, I think, from the village. And then what we can do is we can sacrifice one of our iron ingots. To, uh, to make a um, an ingot cast, the second ingot cast. So we can do these, oh no. I messed up. What did I do? Yeah, element of brass. Okay, well that went to the bottom apparently. Don't need that copper anymore. Let's put that aluminum brass back in. Well, while that's melting, let's do this. So we'll put the copper ingot there and we'll sacrifice that. Out. And now, okay, it's still melting, so we should be safe to pour one more iron ingot. Apparently, when the alloy, when the the metals uh, alloyed in the smelter, uh, they went to the bottom. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Anyway, so now molten aluminum brass, and we cast that over the ingot, and we will make an ingot cast. There we go. And now, we've got 32 ingots of iron left on the bottom. And we can pour two at the same time. And if we had a um, another hopper, it could just auto pull. But unfortunately, we don't. So at least, um, as long as I have the iron off my hot bar, it, it does go into my inventory. How many did I say I needed? 52. 52 of those. Great. Hey, well, we're going twice the speed. Ish. Almost. Alright. Totally tired of eating those uh, blackberries, apparently. Nine. Okay. Are we, uh, oh look, we have some more rubber trees. Great. Now, did we have any spots regrow? So I guess this will be a test. If we break the leaves, do 
spots regrow on it. And this one will leave the, the leaves alone. And then do we have a third one grow? Hmm. I thought I saw a third one, but I guess I was imagining it. Pour some more. 52. Great. Uh, because <laughs> we're, we're probably going to need more iron. Because as we uh, take this iron and make um, the thing we want to make, uh, it's just going to be easier to navigate the other way. Let's go this way. Iron rod. Shape crafting. <laughs> Bookmark that. There we go. We need 52 of those iron rods. So it needs uh, a file. Oh, I'm surprised that. <laughs> okay, I, I was sure that we were gonna go through multiple files, but okay, we, we managed to file down all those iron. Like you can imagine, like having these iron ingots, right? And you're going with a file, and you're manually filing, uh, <laughs> filing them down into rods. It's quite silly, but uh, that is what we just did apparently in the span of minutes. forward to when we can actually make a rocket <laughs> and go to other planets or at least go to the moon we will be able to do that we'll be able to go to Alpha Centauri if we stick with this long enough imagine going from I guess we're we, we were never at the level of rubbing to like or were we how do we I mean, we were in the Stone Age, but it was pretty advanced. All the way to uh, to rocketry and space flight. Should be good. All right. This is one of the things that uh, appeals to me about, I mean, a lot of games, but this this mod pack and what it does for uh, for Minecraft is that kind of experience. All right, so we're almost there. Uh, let's grab something else different to eat. Get a raw sweet potato. Great. Might as well pour some of this iron while we're uh, sitting around. So we have more saplings that are eventually going to grow into more trees. I guess at this point, now that we have the iron rods, is there anything else? We do have planks. We need 130 planks. Do we have 130 planks? I guess we could go uh, chop on the tree a bit. Let's do that while we're waiting for the uh, for these trees to grow. And to respawn uh, sticky resin. Let's run over. Uh, it's a brand new day, basically. Might as well do a little chopping. Exactly. Someday we'll be able to automate <laughs> producing resources. And then this game transforms from like. Uh, well, there'll still be. Because we'll be going to. <laughs> we'll be going to different planets and finding resources and setting up things to gather resources. But it'll be more of management of that versus, you know, manually doing stuff uh, as we get further into the game. But we got a long ways to go before we get there. And there will be challenges along the way. There's a, a mod in this called Botania, I believe. Let's check that. At Botania. Uh, and there's all sorts of 
<laughs> yeah, Minecraft's great. Um, this obviously, well, this is interesting, right? Because this is an older version of Minecraft, but essentially Minecraft in a lot of ways. Um, but a lot of the things that are in newer versions of Minecraft just aren't in this, um, in terms of like, uh, like swimming and dolphins and, um, things from the, like the last half decade. <laughs> uh, but on the other hand, this has so many things from so many mods, so many different ideas and technologies and, and very nerdy things, right? Uh, in it. Uh, because vanilla, vanilla Minecraft doesn't have rockets. <laughs> well, actually, it does have rockets, but not rockets that you can get in and go to other planets, except for that one uh, April Fools. <laughs> They'll let you go to the moon. But since you're a console player, you won't be able to mod at all. Yeah, I know. It's uh, you got to get a, a good PC. <laughs> Abandon your wicked console ways. One of these days. Oh yeah, we never finished actually getting up to the top of this thing. Let's do that. Uh, do I have torches? I hope so. There we go. Torches. This is a nice track. It's funny because I like these, like, you know, these these soft lo-fi lo tracks, um, especially like for the coding streams. But I know I can get quite excited <laughs> when I'm talking, and then the 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 mood doesn't quite meet it, but it's still good. going here. Okay, it looks like the top is just up there. Hmm. I guess the uh, the tree is pretty thin at the top. Which, is <laughs> saying that out loud, that makes that that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's just like three wide at the top. So we got just a little bit of uh, the heart in the middle. So down we go. I'll leave some torches just so that it's actually possible to see what's going on. So this is an old enough version of Minecraft that there is no offhand. <laughs> that there are no uh, vanilla shields. Uh, you can block with a sword. It's a really old version of Minecraft, relatively speaking. I think I've I've only said this in stream a couple of times, but the first the first version of Minecraft that I played was right before uh, Notch added the Nether. <laughs> so, uh, not like the earliest, earliest uh, like in dev or inf dev or whatever, but early alpha days. I've had many thousand. Many thousands of hours of gameplay since then. All right, my axe leveled up. <laughs> Some polishing to mask how bad uh, bronze hatched is. You know some room for improvement. So with uh, with Tinker's construct, I 
interesting. Why is there bark there? Why is there bark in the middle of the tree? And so on. Ah, and there we go. So we got a stack and a half of redwood going down. Um, I think while we're here, let's uh, let's cut a. Um, why is there a zombie? I don't like that. Go away, zombie. I don't want you here. Oh yeah, he can't jump. <laughs> Hold on. So uh, what is the key? It's like F seven. Five seven. Okay. So there are red X's. Let's get rid of those. Those are places that will spawn during the day mobs. Don't want those anywhere near here. Oh, well, I'm out of torches. Probably repurpose a couple of these. Spread them out. I'll get some lighting updates anyway that took care of those red X's. What about over here? That's good. Seven off. There we go. Right. So, like I was saying, while we're over here, let's uh, cut down, cut out a little room inside of the tree. Um, let's about right here. torches anymore. Oh, we got a little light from the inside. Yeah, let's build our factory inside of a redwood tree. What could possibly go wrong? It'll be uh, very vertical. Get some of those torches back. Okay, that was not too bad of a fall. Let's see, where was the uh, entrance? Over here. Great. Just want to put a couple of torches in there to keep stuff from spawning while we're uh, going to check on the rubber trees. So uh, let's put these down really quick. So here is a small coal <laughs> boiler and a steam alloy smelter. Um, so I think for picking these up, we can use the wrench. So we can use the wrench to uh, rotate them like that, but I think we can also sneak right click. Ah, there we go. Okay, we left click, got it. And apparently I've started the Industrial Revolution by hitting a machine with a wrench. That that makes sense. That, that's how it works. <laughs> Alright, and so we can see what the inside of the steam alloy smelter looks like. It's interface anyway. Looks hot. And uh, we can see... Ooh, we can make... <laughs> 
there's there's 1495 recipes using this machine just a few things just a few things I'm sorry not not thing not not 1495 things 1495 pages of things looks like two things a page so like 3,000 different things we can make <laughs> and this guy yeah it makes steam we'll have to figure that out um, but I think for right now I'm gonna head back to the original base camp and see how our rubber um, trees are doing do need to figure out uh, what I want to do about the whole food situation because right now we're eating a lot of like either raw things or just very simply cooked things where we can in fact make more complex foods out of ingredients um, I think we're at the point where we can start like making pots and pans and those sorts of things and cooking meals uh, but then it's just a question of like what is the thing that we want to <laughs> What is going to be our, our uh, go-to food, right? One of the things in this pack, uh, I, I alluded to it earlier on in the stream, was um, their Spice of Life Carrots Edition. And that what that does for you is that as you eat different foods, once you eat a certain number of different types of different foods, you gain extra hearts. So you see I have more than just red hearts over over there <laughs> uh, because they have bonus hearts from eating different things and so one of the things we can do in the game is like just eat a bunch of different things and there are thousands of different varieties of food items to make um, and we can make them all and try each and every single one of them but uh, you know that is gonna take a while there's some stuff we just can't make now because we don't have the uh, the know-how materials and, and such to do that, but it's a uh, neat IRL heart bonus, right? Uh, 23. Are there any more spots to harvest below the tree? Maybe. Below the leaves, rather. Maybe not. Oh, look, there's one. And that's the last of the tree tap. Tree tap. Okay, so we need to make more tree taps. Let's do that. That's not too bad, right? We just gotta make all those things again. I unbookmarked the recipe, didn't I? Okay, maybe tap. There it is. Okay, let's bookmark that. And then we need one of these. I rip whatever tool that was. It's going to be something I need, isn't it? Yeah, it's the saw. Okay, so fortunately I have bookmarked iron saw blade. So for that we need two iron plates. So we need four iron ingots. Hey, guess what? Oh, are we out of iron in here? Yeah, we, we ran through all the iron. Uh, that is unfortunate. I guess we'll s smelt some more iron. I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to use the minimal amount of stuff uh, in the hope that eventually we'll unlock you know, more efficient ways of processing materials. But uh, I suspect we're just gonna run through everything. What is this? Oh, it's a trophy. All right, so now we need a trophy room for the trophies. Let's put this here for right now. There you go. <laughs> I think that was from um, picking up the small coal boiler. Hold on, I gotta snooze these ads. I gotta go for a little bit, little bit longer. Come on, go faster. Smelt faster. Hmm. All right, so. There we go. 
So that'll be enough to make the saw. to see if the uh, the hammer would break too. <laughs> Alright, so we... I think it's just... Where'd the, where'd the saw blade go? Okay. Oh, I haven't made the saw blade yet. I just made the plates. Right, 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 right. Okay, and then uh, it's a stick. There we go, new saw. All right, and then tree tap. We need two of this size wooden uh, fluid pipe, which we get two from that. And then we just need another wood screw. So we just need the short sticks. Try that again. Sometimes it doesn't clear out stuff that's in the crafting uh, grid from before. There we go. Let's make a few of these. Of course, that is going to run through our saw, but it's going to save us in the future. Let's make some wooden screws. Goodbye, file. All right. Well, that's fine. All right, but we need the file. All right, so we need uh, four more iron ingots. Good news, we can we can do that. We got uh, one in there, two more coming, and then should have enough for one more. Yeah, cool. Oh, yep, and there we go. But yeah, this is this is the dance. <laughs> nope, can't make an angle, angle grinder. There we go. File. Uh, no, no, that's pointless to go that way because we'll never find the right thing by scrolling through the uh, recipes. Just gotta know what the recipe is. And then a stick and the plates. Makes a file. And then the tree tap. And there goes the hammer. <laughs> Uh, yep. Is there more sticky resin to collect? Not on that tree. Oh, another tree grew. Hey, we're uh, we're gonna be wrapping up the stream here pretty soon, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I would love to just keep on playing this forever, but uh, yeah, I know. Gotta work in the morning. <laughs> uh, so I was really hoping we could. Oh, we need how much more do we need? No more. We got it. All right, what else do we need for the quest? Uh, planks, water tank siding. Okay, so do I have time to do this? Maybe. Let's see if we can make this. I think I think we should be able to. <laughs> Minecraft work greater than IRL work. I mean, what it, in, in what sense? <laughs> All right, so uh, we can use the saw and we can get more planks this way. Hold on, I gotta tell Switch to snooze. Snooze the ads, I'm busy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they both pay, but right now one is, you know, <laughs> this and the other one is you know, that, so. If that should change, then that will be a different story. But for 
for now. Okay, so we're gonna make as many of these as we can. Uh, by tool. <laughs> but Jake and I are here, not there. Well, uh, time to make another hammer. Uh, let's see how I can make a bronze hammer, but that's gonna be silly. Or is it? Six. I feel like the hammer I was using before was a brass one. It could have been iron, though. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get through this though. Because I wanna I wanna see this part, this quest done. There we go. A hammer, level two. I think it has less durability, unfortunately. Uh, let's throw that stick away. All right, so where are we at? Where did where did those go? <laughs> oh, there they are. Twenty two. All right. So R. What are we what are we short on? Uh, nothing. Twenty six. How many how many were we making? Were we making twenty six? We were. The water dilemma. <laughs> we did it. Uh, this was optional anyway, so we didn't need exactly one hundred and thirty planks. So we got twenty six water tank sighting. So. Um, you don't need a pump to extract water tanks and pipes placed next to it will be autofilled. Uh, humidity of a biome is very important. If it's raining, the tank will fill much slower uh, or much quicker. <laughs> that makes more sense. One block of the water siding must see sky for the maximum output. Okay, so um, we're gonna we're gonna run back over to the tree. I think one thing that we we need to see is um what the humidity level was i didn't take note of that when we were over there before what is the humidity level because if it's not good we might have to reconsider where we're setting this up and good being i mean i don't know not zero it can't be zero it's not a desert over there uh we should also see if we can grab something different to eat on the way what we have in our bag is not doing it for us anymore I thought I could not fall. See, this is this is one of those things I need to fix. <laughs> is having a nice path. If I am, in fact, going to be running back and forth here. Or I could have been taking the horse. Honestly, I don't think that would have saved a lot of time. There we go. Have a plum. But hey, I really appreciate... Uh, Foxy and Jake, you guys being here. Now you want plum? What is this? Some gooseberries, too. I don't know that I've seen an IRL gooseberry. <laughs> I think that's a real thing, but I don't know that I've seen one. But no, I appreciate you and Foxy both being here. And everyone else that's here lurking as well. Looks like there's a few that have hung around or maybe come in and out. Uh, humidity here is 80%. That's actually not that bad. Um, can we... So the issue is sky, seeing sky. Um, what we need to do is find a spot where we can see sky. Maybe that is at the top. <laughs> There's a link, okay. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was a real thing, just. <laughs> uh, such a Washington thing to see. They're apparently real, okay. Um, seeing the sky is a problem. Well, I mean, specifically, so here's the thing, right? So let's, let's do this, let's, um, let's build this thing. Three by three by three hollow. So I think we can do something like, uh, one more snooze. I think we can do something like one, two, three. So we build a three by three base here. And uh, and then we just build a uh, hollow ring on the second level and then we cap it off. And this becomes like a, uh, a rain barrel. 
And the idea is that, you know, the rain will fall on this, fall into this. Although it has a top, so that doesn't really make sense, but whatever. There we go. We got 28, 32, 40, 40, whatever. Uh, can't see the sky rate. So this fills at half rate. This would fill twice as fast if it could see the sky. So I think one of the things we should do is um, clear the blocks up there so that there's visibility of the sky. Apparently the leaves don't count or maybe there's a block, like a branch in the way or something. I don't know. Uh, but we're getting water and that's important because the water is gonna let us uh, supply water to our coal boiler. And the coal boiler is gonna give us steam for our steam alloy smelter. And uh, that is what we are going to come back to in the next uh, Modern Minecraft stream. So that is gonna be that for today. <laughs> um, the next stream is gonna be Wednesday. We're gonna get back to Multiplayer Pal World with uh, subscribers. So subscribers can uh, get info about connecting to the server on the Discord. Yeah, holy coy, sorry. Um, if you want to go back and see what has happened in the past to get to this point, if there's things you've missed, it is uh, in the YouTube channel. Uh, folks that are here today on Twitch uh, can use this link to get over there. There you go. Uh, Discord is over here. Um, and then Friday, we're going to get back to, uh, we finished up our Oxygen Included run. We're going to be doing some uh, Mind Over Magic. We had just gotten started last Friday, just in like last half hour. So back to Mind Over Magic, uh, figuring out what that's all about. Uh, and then coding stream on Sunday, back to this on Monday. That's going to be it though. Thanks so much, everyone. Twitch says there's like 14 people watching. Thanks so much for sticking around. Uh, it's great having you here. Um, even if you are lurking or if you're chatting or however you want to participate, it's great having some company along the way. So thanks. Um, I think we do have time. Do we, do we have a raid target? 